It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, we have something that we've been waiting a long time for. Maybe you've been waiting a long time for it. What is it? This is Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye. You almost got caught up there. You were like, this Wild Turkey is... Rare Breed. It's Rare Breed. Can I just stop there? No, no, you can't because it's a rye. Because it's a rye. Folks. I mean, we've been on oh, the lookout for this one. Wow. Well, ever since I heard that it was coming out and saw the label, I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. because I like Rare Breed and I also like rye. Yes. And after the Master's Keep Cornerstone oh, rye yeah. was so good. Now this is completely different uh, price category sure. than that. But I think it kind of gave us a peek at, at what wild turkey does with rice. Absolutely. Well, you know. There is the Russells. There's the Russells. There's also the the 81 rye and That's the right. 101 rye, which we love to use in cocktails. Um, but this. But it's higher proof. It's higher proof. It's actually the only barrel proof rye offered <gasps> from wild turkey. Whoa. And it's one of the very few that is non-chill filtered. What? All them buzzwords. Pause for cork pop. Huh. <laughs> rare breeds are never great for cork pops. Yeah. So this is all straight rye, mostly made up of four, six, and eight years mm -hmm. in the blend, so. Yeah, it kind of sounds like mm. the, you know, the batching of, yeah, of rare breed, the bourbon, except a little bit younger, but of course that's to be expected because rye, Matures, matures faster, faster. Than, uh, than bourbon, so. Ooh, I like this. I like this, I like this. On the nose. Wow. It's very welcome at the end of this day. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a 51% rye, correct? Correct. So it's not. It's a barely legal rye. It's a barely legal as we rye. we say. But that's what Pikesville is too from Heaven Hill and we love Pikesville. We do. Um, and sometimes that's just the right balance. Sometimes with the wrong bottle at 95% rye, it could just taste like looking at evergreen tree. And that's not what we want, right? <laughs> no. No. It's sort of more delicate spices on the nose. Yeah. Um, cinnamon, but kind of laid back. I'm almost getting like a leather note in there, mm. which is odd because it's not that old. Like a little char. Some berries, some, mm -hmm. some fruits yeah. in there. I As you it, said, the cinnamon spice. But I think it's kind of subtle for the proof, a balance of like the sweetness and the spice and those more mature, you know, charred, smoky, leathery tones. Yeah, a little mm -hmm. evergreen. Yeah, that a little tiny bit of mint or maybe like a eucalyptus. It smells good. It does smell good. Let's How stop talking about that. that. Now let's drink it. There's that rice spice. We'll need to go back for a second sip. Oh, First okay. impressions are good. Okay, a little bit of a slow burn. It is a slow burn. I needed a second. It really, oh, now. It takes its time with you. And now it's in the chest, mm -hmm. and now it's giving that afterburn on the tongue. Now mm -hmm. it's it's starting to go into the finish, finally. Yeah. Pretty long palate, gotta say. And now the finish is starting to be pretty long. A little, yeah, I'm all warm. I'm all warmed up. Finish is like this dark berry and barrel. Um, this is kind of the images that, that I'm getting. It's like a, a really deep syrup, almost like a syrup and espresso combination or a really dark chocolate. Mm. I would say it's just now kind of ceased. Like it's a, it's a long finish. Oh. I like that. All right, you've already gone for your second. I did, sip. and I uh, had, I held it for a second at the front of my tongue, mm -hmm. which usually for me and rye is like too much to hold it there because that's usually where it really ignites for me. I don't know the front and the very very far back, it just hangs out at the very end. But it, it was the flavors were so good. I was just like I gotta hang on to this front part. I <laughs> this is this doesn't happen often. I went back. I started to go back for my second sip and. I set it down. Because you weren't ready? Because I was like... <sighs> Still dealing with that hug? Hold on. <laughs> give me give me a second, guys. I'm like, just give me a second. It's hearty. That's kind of what I was going with that whole thing. It's it's hearty. It sticks to your bones. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot to unpack here. Yeah, now here is the all-important second sip. This is the one where, even though we've already said a lot on that first, this is where you can actually 
Right. Appreciate it. Break it down. It made my mouth water. It's that like, for me. Pretty savory. Yeah, savory and rich. Mm -hmm. And again, this is a standalone. We're not comparing it to anything else because someone else will be like, well, I bet I know something else that's even more savory and rich that'll make your mouth water. And I'm like, we're no not doubt. talking about that today. <laughs> um, yeah, my, it made my mouth water. A mm -hmm. little bit more, um, there's a little bit of bitter on, on the second sip. Oh, I don't know. But an enjoyable I bitter. I have like goosebumps mm. from this little, this little hug I'm getting. It is all encompassing. There's not a spot in my mouth or my chest that is not, um, feel like coated, coated. Exactly. Yeah. It's feels. Yeah. feels that way. Ooh. This is a very friendly Kentucky hug. <laughs> it's very friendly. It's like we're old friends, but we, we were just meeting maybe more than that. Wow, this is a sipper. This is a definition. Oh, of I'm a, on my fourth, fifth. I don't even of know. Of a sipping whiskey. It is, I think, at the front. It dries out towards the end, but at the very front, it's pretty buttery. Mm -hmm. Which I think was the reason why I was hanging on to it for so long. So I was like, oh, this might be my favorite part mm -hmm. of it. But then, yeah. but then it gets to the finish, like right now, and that's so nice too. They're just different. It's a very warming, pleasant experience, in my opinion. There's a slight, I know I might toss this around too much, nutty, but in a completely different way. Were you surprised? <laughs> completely different from like Jim Beam and Heaven Hill. Uh, it's more of an afterthought of like uh, roasted, um, maybe pecans. Th that type of aftertaste where you, you're you not just eating peanuts, you might be eating like a pecan pie or mm -hmm. something that has has nuts in mm -hmm. it. Chad, that I was aftertaste. about to say, this is giving me some serious fall slash Thanksgiving <laughs> vibes. You pecan know, pie. All the squashes and gourds are decorated all everywhere. Gourds. All the gourds. All the gourds. Uh, yeah, just that like warmth. Again, just hearty, warming. I don't know, flavors coming Hardy together. Flavors. This is the reason I'm trying to describe to you actually why I love Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because you get to eat a lot of food. I mostly now these days love Friendsgiving the most, but just that time of mostly all the food. But this is feeling to me like it would win. This is what I would bring. This is what I would bring. Also turkey, duh. All right, here's what I think we should do. We've, we've had several sips of it, um, but I would like to see how it develops in the glass when we just leave it for 10 minutes or so. But while we wait, we want to tell you about whiskeyambitions.com. It's our home on the internet for things such as t-shirts like this, glasses, such like, such like this. Such like these here, <laughs> or, so we'll see. Or, or this, or, or rocks glasses, or challenge coins, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night for as little as $1 a month. Uh, we've got a great community and conversation going on there all the time. Uh, let's see, we do, well, after this episode, we'll be doing another round with Chad and Sarah, which is exclusive to Patreon. Uh, Patreon only podcasts and more stuff all the time. That's right, okay, well, we'll see you soon. And we're back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Also, what we did on that break is we added water to one of these. I added about five drops to this one because, you know, we didn't really want to because no. we really like it as is, <laughs> but. Science. It's like, it's like in blackjack, you either always hit on a 12 or you never hit on a 12 or a 16. You either always do or you never do, depending on what's showing, of course. And if it's, over, if it's over 100 proof, we always do, except if we don't. Anyway. No, we do. No, we do. You always have, you gotta always stick gotta to your principles. Stick to the principles. Oh, Ooh. sticking to your principles sucks. <laughs> Not over here. Wow, it's just gotten a lot more of the, the spice coming through. It's just more, mm, I mean. It's, oh, that is more. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Mine just has more dark berry and brown sugar. So I think it. That's definitely what's still got cinnamon, but come through on this one is the brown sugar. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just feels tamed. Ooh wee! Stop bragging. Okay, here All we right. go. I'll tell you what though, Ooh. it's still pretty good. Mm, it kills, kills oh. the end of it though. Oh, more bitter. It brings out a bitter <laughs> note towards the end. Huh? <laughs> Don't make me come over there. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, a little bit of time in the glass just makes it sort of brighter if anything it's kind of kicked up the um 
the winter mint, the, uh, someone on one of our live shows uh, described it as pine needles when you get kind of that, that rye, that rye taste that you can get in some higher rye ryes, like higher percentage ryes. But just all the right things have, have come to the surface, I, <laughs> I believe. Yeah, I agree. I really am impressed by this. We've always said like rare breed is, it's not, I wouldn't call it like a hidden gem. It's just a great value. And now this one we had a harder time finding. And I don't know if that's just because they're doing a slow rollout. If, you know, the events of this first half of this year have had any impact on it getting out there. Um, well, it is called rare breed. Yeah, so. but other rare breed isn't rare. <laughs> right. Rare. Um, <laughs> no, just real quick about the water. Yeah, not for us with the water. Doesn't it kind of definitely a lot better. burn out or something it, towards it just, the finish? It just, just kind makes of... it less exceptional. It, yeah, I agree. Um, it's so good. I mean, you, you do you, you add water to taste, you experiment, but for us personally, it's just, um, yeah. It's just not, not it's our thing. much better at, uh, <laughs> as, 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 it was, as it was intended. Can't talk. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, actually we had to get we got this out of state we got this in north carolina don't tell on <laughs> us um so yeah north carolina is where we had to go we still have not seen it in kentucky now. come on yeah. raise up <laughs> twirl it around your head like a helicopter yeah north carolina like it was an abc store it was 59.95 mm, that's so a that, little higher that than is normal. retail that's for the rye. For I the guess, rye, yes. Because that's higher than regular rare breed, but rye is a more expensive grain, so yeah. that all kind of makes sense. Yeah. Honestly, I'd pay 60 bucks for this. We did. I, I mean, mean, I would do it again. <laughs> Consistently. I would do it again. And I don't think we ever mentioned this, but this is 112.2 proof. Okay. <laughs> well, wow. now I guess the question for me, well, obviously there's a question of recommend or not, but I think that you guys are pretty smart and you can figure out that we would, yes recommend would buy again yes do enjoy yes honestly i know it's a rye so it can't go into our best bourbon of the year but, but it can go this into is our going best rye in, of the year this is going into the the bourbon night awards best rye mm -hmm. and i think maybe even best new newcomer best new bottle i don't know yeah. can, can a rye break out in that category absolutely i'm not sure it's 2020 <laughs> well it'll be 2021 but yes it, yeah. anything can happen i guess anything can happen um yeah now i guess the question for me and maybe you is how does this stack up to Pikesville? Right. And do we even want to go there? Ooh. And maybe we can answer that in that uh, another round with Chad and Sarah. Maybe so, or maybe a uh, cornerstone rye. Mm. Um, that doesn't feel like a fair game. Well, well, maybe. I don't know. I guess that you'd have to find out if you wanted to. It was on Patreon. Yeah. Um, there you go. But um, this is thankfully going to be a reoccurring product, Yay. regular skew for Wild Turkey, uh, as long as you guys can find it. I, I have heard that it is a little bit more rare, but maybe that is just a slow rollout. I think it is a slow roll. Um, we are hoping for that. <laughs> we hope to see it here in our state as well. But yes, would absolutely recommend. I think this would be great in a cocktail if, if you want to do that. You can um, go that high too. Oh, Granddad 114 is in cocktails yeah, all the time. And, it, and it's great. I dubbed this the bourbon of fall 2020. Well, it's a rye, so I you mean, can't do that. I'm sorry. The I dubbed whiskey. this the whiskey of fall 2020. There you go. Yeah. Fall 2020 is sponsored by Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye. I have spoken. Woo! It is the way. All right. Uh, that will do it for us. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already and would like to do so, we'd love to have you. You can we click. Would right up here there are suggestions of other videos right down here we hope to see you over there in those thanks sarah thanks chad okay until next time drink more rye oh he got it